But something else that they're doing is they're de-lofting the club into impact through shaft lane. A very different action and feeling off the face. So 31.7. Remember that's the lofted impact and we've lost some distance. Hey golfers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about shaft lean at impact. What is it? Why do we need it? Do we need it? And also a really cool drill to help you achieve it. When I first started finding out about shaft lean in my own game about 15 years ago and I started to train it correctly, it did completely transform my ball striking and my game in general. It really, really helps. And we know that every Tour Pro has some amount of it. Some are going to have around 6 degrees. Some will have as much as 12. It is definitely something we want to achieve. And the little drill that I'm going to show you today was all part of the process in me achieving it. We'll be able to use TrackMan and show what impact factor it is changing so that we can prove and see the benefits from having it. So before we get started with that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments where you're watching from and let's get started. So how can the Tour Pros hit their irons so far? Well, obviously lots of club head speed helps, but something else that they're doing is they're de-lofting the club into impact through shaft lean, okay? So I have here my eight iron. Let's say this is around 38 or 39 degrees of loft. They're gonna be de-lofting that club by leaning the shaft forward. So the thing comes out more like a six iron. Than an eight okay so what we're going to do is we're going to hit a shot i'll hit a normal one we're going to look at the dynamic loft and that is the loft that we present at impact not the physical loft on the club more shaft lean less loft essentially more carry so let's see that so i'll hit one here normal And we'll check. So 27 degrees of dynamic loft. Okay, so I have de-lofted this golf club into impact through leaning the shaft. Now, let me do what most golfers do that I would see would be more of the scooping or maybe flipping, adding loft. Ball gets a bit high. Strike gets a little bit compromised as well. So we'll go for this one. We're going to add some loft and see... A very different action and feeling off the face. So 31.7. Remember that's the lofted impact and we've lost some distance. Okay. I see this a lot. So we need to create some shaft lean to be able to get the distance, the compression, the strong ball flight. Maybe even sometimes you hear that ball fizzing through the air. Shaft lean is happening when that happens. So let's take a look at this drill that I want you to do to improve your shaft lean decrease the dynamic loft, improve your ball flight, and increase your carry while we're at it. So in order to do this drill correctly, I want you to grab a seven, an eight iron, something like that. You could even use a nine and an alignment stick. Now, what we do is we run it down the left side. Now, I know a lot of people I see doing this drill, and you've probably seen a lot of videos on it, but I do know that a lot of people aren't doing it correctly, or maybe just missing a couple of elements of it. And golf drills are great provided they're done right, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we cover that. And we're not hitting full shots for this. I must stress that too. So run the alignment stick down the left side of the shaft, okay? Take your grip. If you feel a little uncomfortable, make sure the face stays square as we do this, okay? So into setup, and I can feel the stick is resting just on the left side of my sort of, well, you could put them in left love handle if you like. So it's resting there, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is make some practice swings. I'm gonna go back to hip high, and as I come through, I'm gonna make sure that I can freeze at impact without that being on my side. So essentially, yes, I've started with some shaft lean, but I've increased it. Now, don't be backing your body up to try and miss your side. I still want some shift forward, as you can see, now it isn't touching my side. So I've created more shaft lean than I started with. It's on my side, it's off my side. On my side, off. As I'm doing this, there is a little bit of shift happening and it's now leaning further forward than it was at address, okay? Now, that's just feel that first, okay? Don't hit balls right away. 
just get the feeling of, okay, start here, hip high, more shaft lean than I had at address. That's number one. Number two, if you watch my other videos, having the handle more forward at impact will have an implication on opening the club face, okay? We have these things in the golf swing called openers and closers. An opener is leaning the shaft, the face opens, okay? So we have to counter that, and this is called sort of turning down the lead wrist to try and square this. I'll get into that in a second. But this is what I see a lot of golfers trying to do, is they'll set up, and they will have the stick. They come in, keep it off their side. That's all great. Like this, and the face is so open, they potentially shank it or hit it way to the right. So what we need to do is, as we make this stick get off our side, coming from hip height, we're going to make sure that we let the logo of our glove turn down to the ground. As I do this, I'm closing the face or squaring it up, okay? If I just say, don't put the stick on my side, it's not on my side, but look at my club face, I have no chance. So I have to use the wrist to square it up, okay? So this is why we're building this in steps, right? So what you're going to do, you've already done your first bit. You've got a feeling of more lean than you had at address. You're going to go back hip high, turn the logo to the ground, and again, stop at impact. Okay, so here, logo down, there. Get this feeling. It's exactly how I did it. You have to build it up. There. That way. So you can see. I'm creating, I'm de-lofting this club a lot, okay? So let's go into starting to hit some very soft shots. We're not gonna stand here and try and blast this thing your normal distance, right? Build it up. When you get this, I'm gonna have you go on some sort of hip high to hip high, hitting these lovely little compressed shots even at that speed, okay? So as we come into this here, turn down. Don't let that touch our side. And as we go to hit a couple of chip shots here, we go back there. So I'm keeping that off my side. I will do one towards the window. One of these days I am going to probably break this window and then I'll be in big trouble. If you're anything like me and you like to wear a good quality leather glove when you're playing golf, but don't fancy the high price tag, well go and check out my channel sponsors page, gxgolfgloves.com. Really good quality glove. At a fraction of the cost use code david at checkout and you'll save yourself a nice little bit of cash as well so <laughs> here little easy one and i just want you to watch how it never gets that chance what are we going to see from the flipper the scooper the guy adding loft we might be hitting our side before the club even gets to the ball this would be very common in here okay adding a lot of dynamic loft not getting that compression Okay, so we've got three steps to this. Number one, you're feeling here. There's another step to come. You're feeling what's impact like without that touching me. That way. Then you're going to see, right, i got to turn the glove down as I do it. This will help you create some more as well. There. Cool thing about here is you can turn all you want, <laughs> literally. I know everybody loves to to turn their hips and turn their body. Well, if you're coming down like that, turn away, no problem, okay? Do not turn if the face is open. So now we're into this stage here, logo down, that way, did not touch my side. Now, next step, you can see, start to get a little confident with that. Please don't skip steps one, two, and three, and also do not hit full shots with this, that's a disclaimer. Don't hurt yourself. This way, we're going to go now just past our hips. We'll start hitting some slightly fuller shots. Remember to turn down. I can't stress that enough. So back. That way. That one actually whipped me on the way through on the left love handle. So even that little shot, 25 dynamic loft. Less than I had in my full swing because I'm training this. I'm coming in with the hands ahead of the golf ball and i'm turning it down to make sure the face stays square as well okay guys 
Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this video, please, you know I always reply to everybody and try and help you all out. That's what this channel is about. And if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.